This video will show you how to use Dean's cubes to multiply a two digit number by a one digit number. The multiplication I'm going to solve is 39 multiplied by 4. As I'm using Dean's cubes, I must put the correct cubes on the correct number. So in the ones column, I have got 9 and 4. This means I must put 9 cubes on top of the 9 and 4 cubes on top of the 4. In the tens column, I've just got a 3 here. This represents 30, so I must use my rows of 10 cubes and put 3 of them on top of the 30. First, I must solve the multiplication in the ones column. This is 9 multiplied by 4. I know that 9 multiplied by 4 equals 36. 36 has got 3 tens and 6 ones. So I will need three rows of ten cubes and six ones. The six cubes here go into the answer part of the ones column. However, the three tens that I've got here must go underneath the answer section to, rem to remind me to add them on in the next step. I'm going to write a six here to show the six cubes here. Next I must solve the multiplication in the tens column. This is 30 multiplied by 4. I know that 3 multiplied by 4 equals 12. So using my place value knowledge I can work out that 30 multiplied by 4 must equal 120. 120 has got 102 tens. So I will need a block of 100 cubes and 2 rows of 10 cubes to show this. I need to put these cubes into my multiplication columns now. The two rows of 10 cubes go into the answer part of the tens column and the one block of 100 cubes must also go into the answer part of the hundreds column. However, I've also got these three tens from the previous multiplication that I must add, add in. So in the answer, I've now got one, two, three, four, five tens. So the answer has got five tens, which means 50. And in the hundreds column, the answer has got 100, which means writing a one here to represent this. So the answer is 156. So 39 multiplied by four must equal 156.